विद्यार्थी मित्रों नमस्कार मित्रों आज सत्र गणित प्राविण्य वर्ग आठवा या परीक्षे की तैयारी करना निवड़क अ प्रश्न यठिका घूया पैरल लाइन या प्रकरण आधारित वेलकम डे स्टूडेंट नाउ इन टू डेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सी पैरल लाइन एंड एक्सरसाइज नंबर ट्वेल्व सो क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट इज If the angles with measures 2x minus 10 and x minus 5 are supplementary for each other, then find their measures. Therefore, 2x, 2x minus 10, and another angle is. X minus five are supplementary. Therefore, two x minus ten plus x minus five equal to one eighty because they are supplementary. Therefore, here two x plus x three x minus fifteen equal to one eighty. Therefore. 3x is equal to 180 plus 15. Therefore, 3x equal to 195. Therefore, x equal to Sixty-five. Therefore, the measure of first angle equal to two x minus ten uh, is two into sixty-five minus ten means one twenty, and another angle is x minus. Means sixty-five minus five equal to sixty. These are the two supplementary angles, one eighty and sixty. Now another question. In adjoining figure, line L and line M, line L and line M are parallel lines, and line N is the transversal. Here as shown in the figure. Line L and line M are parallel line, and N is the transversal. मित्रानो यात्री कानी line L and M या parallel line है, समांतर line है, and N ही transversal है. If angle A equal to one hundred and ten, then find angle B, angle C, angle D, angle E, angle F, and angle G, and angle H. So answer angle A, which is to be given, angle A equal to one hundred and ten, angle A plus angle B, angle A plus angle B equal to one eighty. Because these two angles, sum of these two angles equal to 180. Because they they are in pair of angles. Therefore, angle B equal to 180 minus 110. Because here angle A equal to 110, so angle B equal to 70. Angle B equal to 70. Angle A congruent angle C. 
here as shown in the figure angle A congruent angle C these are the vertically opposite angle because vertically opposite angle and we know that uh, dear student vertically opposite angles are congruent therefore angle C equal to angle C is also 110 now angle D angle B and D angle B congruent angle D since vertically opposite angles therefore angle D angle D is equal to also 70 now find out angle E the student we know that angle A and angle E are corresponding angles and corresponding angles must be congruent आपल्याला माहिती आहे की करस्पोंडिंग एंगल्स हे सुद्धा कसे असतात कॉंग्रोन असतात म्हणजे या ठिकाणी आपण असं लिहू शकतो एंगल ई कॉंग्रोन एंगल ई देयरफॉर एंगल ई इज इक्वल्स टू 110 नाउ एंगल एफ एंगल एफ and angle E equal to 180 because they they are in linear pair therefore angle F equal to 180 minus 110 equal to 70 Now angle G angle E congruent angle G since vertically opposite vertically opposite angles must be congruent therefore angle G is equal to 110 now lastly find out angle H F and H are vertically opposite here angle F angle F congruent angle H because they are vertically opposite angle therefore angle H equal to 70 because angle F equal to angle F equal to 70 and H is also 70 तर अशा प्रकारी याठी काने अपन या सरव एंगल चे किन्ती काड़े रहे मित्रों तर अशा प्रकार चे प्रॉब्लेम्स अपले ला गणित प्राविन ने या एक्जाम दे विच्चा ले जाओ सेक्तर ते आनुशंगाने अपन याठी काने हे दोन एग्जांपल घेतले आहेत भेटूया पुढच्या सत्रामध्ये दुसऱ्या नवीन एक्सरसाइज सह